Oh? Hey, back to your roots? Always oh, kneeling down. Well, what think you of Father Servo now? You've, uh, had a lot of work done. Indeed, and all thanks to you. Well then, think you can face the full might of Father Servo's power? Alright. Then we fight! Red Belt? Oh, uh... Yeah, I wanna bow. I would love to bow too, but I can't. Woo! Do we wanna try, like, normal fighting him a little bit first? Level 60. Ooh! Well, he doesn't really have the fancy moves with the Goliath and stuff anymore, but maybe each punch really... <laughs> really packs a punch. I don't know, it's hard to tell. We're doing a sliver of damage on him. Uh... Some other thing. Ooh! Yeah, he doesn't seem that strong. I think we can do this. How about hacking? Oh! Wow. Look at my health. Damn. You know, part of being strong is um, being having great mental defenses too, so I'm guessing this is sort of like a representation of his mental health, which is looking pretty damn good right now. Ah! Not the red stuff. Not the red stuff. Whew. You know, on the way coming here, there was a little swirly snake over there. And I hacked it, and it gave so much EXP, I don't know why, it gave me like 400. But the other hacks normally give me like, maybe 30 or 40? So I don't really know why that one is worth so much. Oh, I'm kind of stuck here. I gotta like, ah! We can do this though. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my lord, yeah, okay. Father Servo's mental defenses are top-notch. Top-notch. Get some exploding going on there. Oh! He's very strong, physically. Oh, there's so many. Wait, is there more? Oh, yup! Come on! Ooh! Oh, first time almost running out of time. Okay, we can get this, I think. Just normally. No, no hacking, no hacking. Maybe. Yeah! Okay, we're done now, right? I mean, this has to be the end. Oh, my child. How wrong you are! For if Father Servo wishes it wishes to be truly strong, he must stake his very life upon it. No, we're we're just sparring. We don't need to go all the way. Oh, for the love of Grandfather Servo, no quarter. This will be a battle to the death. Prepare to die, my android child. Oh, this really doesn't need to be like that. Are you sure? Oh, okay. He's full health again. All right. More hacking for me, I suppose. Woo! Ah! Let's get back in there. You know, I wonder what decides what game we'll see. Like, is it just random? Based on, I don't know, tearing? Because the weaker enemies definitely have a weaker hacking game. But then the bigger ones, what decides which ones they have? Randomly? Is it all just random? Okay. Well, this one should be easy. Should be! 30... Is my hacking getting stronger or anything like that? The more I hack, the stronger I get? Or is that something that I need to get chips to modify? Okay, I'm stuck in here. Oh! Time! Time! I don't have that much time! Oh, you're kidding me! Yup. Yeah. Because I would love anything that would give me 
more damage per hack so that I can stop hacking so many times. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, okay, man, I, I get it, but I'm okay. I don't have to hack. <laughs> it's not my most favorite activity ever. Okay, let's see if we can do this last bit by ourselves. Oh! No? My pod? Oh! I tried to counter, but I couldn't. Oh, I should use my little mirage thing. Yeah, that worked. Kind of. Good. Now Father Servo can be at peace. For he has found a foe strong enough to withstand him. Here, your earthly reward. Memory alloy. Power up part S. Isn't that the thing we need to upgrade a pod or something? Thank. Hmm. Target neutralized. It's over. Huh. That was kind of sad. About goddamn time. If I ever see that bossy robo monk again, it'll be too soon, let me tell you. I suppose. <sighs> Stupid machine. All he cared about was getting stronger until we finally scrapped him. But now we don't have to see him ever again. What a relief. Indeed. I miss him already. <laughs> he was one of the very first machines, sentient machines that we ran into, so... I kinda miss him. Damn. He's got his own special music, too. Father Servo. A machine life form that wears a white belt and pursues the warrior's path. After suffering defeat at the hands of 2B and 9S during training, he shamelessly began to pester them for payment. Despite being equipped with a brown belt and being powered up with new parts, Father Servo was defeated once more. Seeking empathy, he then solicited 2B and 9S for yet more parts. Despite a black belt and a makeover, Father Servo was still no match for 2B and 9S. Father Servo underwent an even more radical redesign, including a snazzy red and white belt. However, his flurry of powerful attacks was not enough to stave off an inevitable defeat. Donning a red belt and walking the path of the warrior to the end, Father Servo went to the afterlife satisfied that he gave all in his final confrontation with 2B and 9S. Mm. It seems like toward the end there, he figured something out though, cause... Oh my god, I don't even... Is that how we first met him? I don't even remember anymore. He kept adding more and more weapons to himself. More, 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 bigger, better. But toward the end, it's like he realized, oh, maybe... Maybe adding more of those fancy weapons is not the way to become powerful, huh? I mean, he's still bigger than he first started, us, but... It's much more manageable than being a Goliath. Oh. Well, have fun in the afterlife, wherever you are. Karate heaven. What do we got next then? We have some stuff at Pascal. Do we want to go there now, or was there something else? Oh yeah, we gotta go back to the freaking amusement park sometime. And there's some like desert stuff, the relics. That one seems kind of annoying though, so I don't know if I wanna... I'll go back there when they give me a reason to go to the desert, but so far they haven't really given me one yet. There's never anything in there. Okay. We got something near the tower. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah. That's the tower that we just climbed the other time. The radio broadcast tower. Oh. Which I believe is right around the corner. Who would have thought Father Servo would get such a melodic piece to himself? It's not like a karate themed battle theme. Karate themed battle theme. At the top?
Yeah, so I'm playing as 9S, so I can't see up Kubi's skirt, huh? Otherwise, this angle would be perfect. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, game devs. Whoa! Jesus. Oh, not that one! Wait, is it another wise guy? He's just standing there again. Oh my god, I need to... I need to freaking like hack some of these. No, wrong one! Oh! I'm in the wise machine's mind. I don't know if I want to break his mind, though. That voice couldn't have been that machine's thoughts, right? Was it seriously trying to figure out the meaning of existence? Negative. Machine life forms do not possess such thought routines. Like android, like pod? Well, yeah, but... Oh, uh, can we talk to him now? Well, maybe not right now, because we're getting attacked from every direction. I don't want to accidentally hit that guy, though, so I gotta be really careful here. Holy crap! Okay, you know what? Let's just get down here first, because, like... Jesus, they're getting... I'm gonna die! I'm gonna... I'm gonna freaking die! They just won't leave me alone. Oh my god. Do you want to get hacked that badly? Is that it? Okay. I wonder if we can talk to the... So there's three. Three that we know of. Wise machines. Oh god! Oh, Jesus! Just F off already! No! There we go. Still not talking. But he seems to be shaking a little bit more than the other ones after we hacked him? Or am I seeing things? Um... I guess we should go back to the other two and try to hack them, huh? Okay, sounds good to me. And this isn't even the wise machine's music, but it sort of fits. <laughs> What's this? Oh, elaborate gadget. Cool. <coughs> oh! Yup. The wise machines are not this way. I gotta go back to the... City ruin center area. No, he was shaking already. He was just kind of standing here the whole time. To be, please. Do we want to hack him then before the guy behind me comes up? Because I can see him on the map already. To exist, I must be strong. Really destroy life from But if so, It's like a philosopher machine. Hmm. I feel like he and Father Servo might have had a good conversation going on. Discussions about how to be powerful. Oh, oh what the hell was that? <laughs> it's in pain because it can't find value in its own existence? It wants to know why it's here? What exists? And what about me? Why am I here? Why do I... Alert! Hacking has resulted in an alignment of synaptic transmissions. Oh, right. W sorry, I just... I'd better be more careful next time. Wait, what was the pod saying just now? Synaptic transmissions? It felt like even 9S. Yeah! It felt like even he was questioning his own existence a little bit. 
Hmm. Let's go hack the other one then. This seems like it might lead to something interesting. Because you know 9S, he's always been the one that's like, Oh, machines having conscious thought? No way, we androids are the best. But are androids really the best? Negative. I mean, why were we born? Why are we here? That's... Those are questions that even we think about, but... Uh, is life that painful? Just... I don't think we can find an answer. It's just not within our reach. But he's being really negative about it. <laughs> Ugh. Alert! Abnormalities detected in vital signs. Pulse rate nearing dangerous levels. Mine? I'm all right. decided to end itself. Hmm. And that was sort of the end of that. Did they all do that? Seems like it. Oh, yeah, there was one here, one here, one here. Again, the <laughs> the cyclical cycle of death and rebirth and destruction. Androids, I can see going through that because we have the whole black box thing where our memories are stored somewhere else and then they can be uploaded to a different body. But for machines, is it the same way? Hmm. Well, it seems clear that nobody is really interested in fighting this war anymore. We're just kind of doing it because because that's what we've been told. But nobody really knows why we're doing anything we're doing. Those must have been machines that disconnected from the network and then they like gain their own thinking or something. Wow, that was weird. Okay. Is that all the side quests we got for now? Parade again? No, I think we can wait a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the game dev? Maybe we want to go back there? Half wit. Um, okay, let's go back to the game dev. Ah, you have a four color cable! Gimme! Now then, I just connect this end to the widget here and... Presto! My amazingly fun game is now more difficult. Care to check it out? I'll give you a prize if you can debug it for me. <laughs> I love hacking! Have fun! Okay, we're not actually trying to finish this then. We're trying to like... Find something wrong with it. Okay. I guess we can get some of these guys out of here and look around more in depth. I don't know. Yeah, okay, like those are just. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> you debugged the game! Thanks! I don't know what I did, but okay, sure. Pristine cables, things I need. You actually give me a lot of stuff. Hmm. Level 3? You know something? I don't think my fun game is hard enough yet. We need to reach beyond typical market boundaries to include hardcore gamers. Oh my friend, that's not how marketing works. You're gonna end up creating something that a lot of people like, but no one loves. Gotta find a niche. 
But that can be easily rectified if you bring me a five color cable. What the hell is with these color cables? Muchas gracias! And best of luck tracking down the five color cable. You can salvage them from the machines in the desert. Just go ahead and rip it right out of them. They tend to hang in groups, so good luck finding the right ones. Um, I thought these machines were your friends. Creativity is my friend! <laughs> well, I can... I can respect that. Someone who wants to... Who can do anything and everything to achieve their creative goals. Alright. Well, now we do have a reason to go back to the desert, so that's kind of... That's pretty nice. But I think probably Pascal's village is closer to us right now, so... Let's go over there. Alright, who wants things for me here? I know the wandering couple is right down here waiting for their elaborate gadget. That's it! Now my companion can fix what's been ailing him! It's so generic sounding. <laughs> I'm so glad we trusted you. We'll leave this place as soon as we can. Please pray for our safe passage. Okay. Alright, get out of here. And then later on, they'll be... At the flooded city? Or do they go somewhere else first? I don't quite remember. Is it even worth my time to retrieve these bodies anymore? I don't know, but I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. <laughs> okay. At least two other people here are looking for me, so we gotta... We gotta find whoever's looking for me here. Oh, right here. Oh, that's Pascal though. Is that okay? What's our main quest right now? Return to the bunker. Okay. Hello, Nines. What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you something. I want you to give me the quest. <laughs> Can you tell us about pacifists? Ah, you wish to know the reason we in the village detest fighting? Well, it's a bit of a heady concept, but in the end, I suppose it's because conflict has ceased to have meaning for us. Care to explain? We machines are weapons created for the purpose of waging war. However, this war simply goes on and on with no end in sight. Yeah, okay, so that's what the wise machines figured out as well. We have come to realize that the cost of fighting for us as individuals far outweighs any benefits that victory might bring. I believe we will eventually live to see a day when androids and machine lifeforms are able to live together in peace. Not likely. I wouldn't say that, because you guys don't really die, you don't age, so I think you will see that day. Give me your damn quest, goddammit. How's life in the village? Do you mean our day-to-day -day existence? Well, as you know, we are machines. We don't require food or typical sustenance, as our cores provide a near-infinite supply of energy. Where does that come from? Infinite energy? We could use that. <laughs> we do, however, deteriorate over time, which means we need to procure parts and initiate repairs. Still, it's not like we break down all that often. To be completely honest, life in the village is rather slow. Can you tell me about the shop? Why is there a shop in your village, Pascal? It's not like you folks use money. Oh, we do. For us, simple materials take the role of currency. Each machine is an equal, which means the traditional capitalistic acquisition machines of the past don't work for us. Instead, our economy is focused on trading materials according to one's need. It was a lesson we learned from mankind's past history. Most fascinating, don't you think? That's going a little backwards, aren't we? Bartering. We've made it a point of emphasis to teach our children about different economic systems. You should speak to them if the subject is of further interest. Oh. Hey, why would you give me your quest? Okay. Hello there. Er, so I was wondering if you might help me with a small project. I'd like you to collect and bring back any information you find regarding the old world during your travels. Really? Why? I'm hoping to use whatever knowledge remains of the old world to make life better for those here in the village. Aww. I'll be glad to share anything we find with you as well, of course. So, would you be willing to assist us? Sure. 
Thank you. Please show me anything of interest you find. I found a lot already. Yeah. Want some? Hey, Pascal. Is this the kind of old world information you were looking for? Ah, thank you so much. I find this data from mankind to be ever so fascinating. I know it's not much, but please take this as thanks. That was a generic message. How many... How much money are you gonna give me? No more? That's it? What? I'm pretty sure I had more than that. You're ripping me off. Oh, what's going on up there? <coughs> Got a heated discussion. Friend machine. Weird machine. Distracted friend machine. <laughs> that looks like fun. What you doing? This kid's being weird. Yeah, I asked if he wanted a coin that's low value or one that's high value. He said he wanted the worthless one. Seriously? Hey kid, I've got a coin worth a little and the and one that's worth a lot. Which one do you want? Um, the little one. Are you sure about that? Yeah, cause it looks cool. Hehe, <laughs> thanks a lot. See, he's weird. Yeah, what a dummy! I'm a dummy? Hee <laughs> hee, thanks a lot! Hmm, this little guy might have a bad mathematical processor, or maybe his logic circuits got crossed somehow. I should probably take a look inside. Idiot savant. <laughs> you can't just randomly hack people like this, that's not how the world works. 9S? Yeah, his face. It's like this Japanese face thingy. But I guess we can- No, wrong one! <gasps> I don't want to hack you. I don't want to kill him, so I'm not gonna- Yeah, let's just forget about this hack. Because if I hack him, then he'll die, right? I don't want to kill him, no. This one, this one. Whoa! What the hell? What are we doing? Playing Sudoku in here? Wait, he has so many of those cores. That's weird. And really bad for me too, cuz... Oh, I gotta... Oh, yeah. You see what happens? <laughs> wow, this is more complex than I was expecting. Let me try again. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Hey, where the... The friends? The friends are gone. What the hell? Okay, we gotta hurry up. Hurry! Oh! Come on. Maybe I should be looking at myself. Not. Oh god. Not the thing I'm trying to hit. That's a hint that I got in the comment section. Look at the thing. Look at myself. Don't look at the other ones. Cause... Cause if I can survive for longer, that means I can beat this. If I die right off the bat, then that's not really any help. Especially because this one isn't even timed. There we go. Four? Hmm. If your logic circuits are this advanced, why are you behaving like that? Whoa. Well, I suppose there's no point in pretending anymore. It's simple, really. If I pretend to prefer smaller denominations of coins, the people around me are so entertained, they keep giving them to me. Ah! In this fashion, I'm able to earn far more than I would if I asked for larger units of currency. There's an important lesson here. The more of a fool people take you for, the more you'll learn of their true nature. That's true. Oh, but keep this between us for now, alright? I need them to keep thinking that I'm slow. Here's a little hush money to smooth things over. <laughs> oh, damn! This guy's rigging in the money! And the parts! Hijack boost! Idiot savant, alright? Wow! That's totally true, though. Yeah, because when people let their guard... When people let their guard down around you, then you see... What they really think and do. 
weird machine. A machine life form who is endlessly mocked by the children in Pascal's village. Though he seems dense, he's actually a clever unit that possesses advanced thought circuitry. His less than clever facade is actually an elaborate act designed to grant him knowledge of others' true nature. That's a nice way to put it. I thought you were just greedy and wanted more money. <laughs> yeah. So all those things on his face, the eyebrows and stuff, those are like Japanese words. Japanese, it's like stuff in the Japanese alphabet. Cool. That's one. I'm not sure I even know what it means to be smart anymore. Reply unknown. Terms are too vague to formulate a reasoned response. <laughs> Don't I know it? Hmm. <laughs> oh, what now, Mom? Hello, my android friend. I can't believe I have to say this, but it seems my son has locked himself again. He was doing so well. He even talked to that girl he liked, but yesterday he had some sort of relapse. I'm so ashamed to be in this position, but would you mind helping me out one more time? <sighs> Fine, whatever. Hee <laughs> hee, you're gonna love this one. You shouldn't be proud of hiding from the world. Besides, I thought you had a girlfriend. Maybe, but I'll tell you if you get my lock open. <sighs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Nine as the babysitter. Can we solve this one? It doesn't seem hard. Wow, it's even more complex than before. Dude, this guy's like a master programmer or something. Whoa, I don't have the... Oh, well. <laughs> Damn, that looks stronger than I thought. Okay, let's do it carefully this time. It's timed too, so we have to be a little careful here. Yup. A text message popping up. That's not something I've ever seen before, so that's... that's new. Forget about the... Oh, lord. Come on. Woo! You win! Do you even know how much trouble you've caused for everyone, young man? Well, do you? Okay, kid. Spill it. What's your deal? I've been trying, okay? I went out and talked to everyone I saw. I even talked to the girl I liked. It was... fun. But then it got hard. Cause you can't just talk to people, you know? You have to read between the lines and stuff. So I kinda decided that staying inside was way easier. But I have a dream now. I'm gonna be the best shut-in I can possibly be! Next time, I'm gonna make a lock you won't be able to break in in, in a bajillion, quintillion years! <sighs> Will you listen to my darling boy? He has a goal now, how wonderful! And it's all thanks to you! You're okay with this? Don't mention it. Why do I have the feeling we're back to square one? Hey, well, <laughs> whatever. Hmm. Any words of wisdom, Nines? No. Well, it's kind of like um, the machine family that lives down here. These people, they were talking about how, oh, ever since we disconnected from the network, we don't know what each other's thinking anymore. There's so many miscommunications and misunderstandings. And then this one above here is like. Oh, you gotta like read between the lines because people won't tell you the truth, blah blah blah. So, along the same lines here, life has become more difficult in some ways because everyone's becoming disconnected from the main network now. But maybe that's something that makes it a bit more fun? Because what's the fun if you know what everyone's thinking at all times? What about that? Hmm. What do we got now? Game dev machine. Is this the desert? Where is that? Desert. Okay. Well, since we're going to the desert anyway, we're going to get the parts here, and I'm going to get the relic too if I can. I assume the relic is just somewhere around here. I, I'll try to find it. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Oh, in the little house here? Okay. 
Oh, it's the one with a lot of... A lot of machines. Hey, everybody! What's up? Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't be so hostile. I'm not coming to kill you. Oh, I should switch my weapons up a little bit, because I haven't switched them for a long while now. Whoa! Hey, that guy's level 40. Damn. Get some regular attacking going on here. Uh, I'm looking for a... Five color cable? What are the chances it's dropped by the strongest guy here? Pretty damn high, apparently. Requested material obtained. Cool. Let's switch to a different weapon set. We've been using these for a while now. I'll keep the Virtuous Treaty because I think it's the best thing I got here. But then otherwise... Let's try a spear. Yes. Um. Attack speed up, stun up, endurance up. Yeah, I guess we'll have a Virtuous combo for now. Why not? Why not? Well, it's 9S. It's not gonna be anything crazy. Anyway, gonna go look for some relics now. Something's around here. Oh. Around here? Hey! It's hard to tell where you want me to go. Phoenix Lance. Is that what I'm looking for though? It doesn't seem like that is a relic. Did I just randomly find a weapon in the <laughs> in the sand? A spear made from the plume of a phoenix. Legends tell of a mighty warrior who had no equal in battle. Granted immortality by a phoenix, he wandered from war to war, forever searching for ways to prove his strength. Huh. I didn't get any pop-ups about getting relics. Maybe that's just some random thing? Uh, this one. Find them and bring them to the client. Well, it seems like there's more than one, so I'm gonna look around and see if I can find other stuff around here first before going back to the client. Oh! Old world material obtained. Hypothesis. Said material is likely a relic from an ancient civilization. Oh, right next to the Emil heads. That's kind of hard to find. Ugh. Do we have any sort of, like, landmark as to where we can find these? Or is it completely random, or... I don't know. Well, we have one now. How many do we need to find? More than one? So the weapon really wasn't one then, because it didn't give me anything. Okay, well... Let's go to the dude. Hey! Oh, this is just lovely. Let me pay you for it. Huh, so it's some kind of mask. Judging by the design, it was intended to be worn by a female. According to legend, the nation that used to be here was wiped out quite suddenly. Suddenly? Huh. Apparently it had to do with the passing of a beloved king. Oh. Perhaps this mask belonged to a princess or the like. If you find any more relics, make sure to bring them to me. Torn book. So there's more? Torn book. Was that mask supposed to be... What's her name? Freya? Freya's mask? And the king. That was a king of facade, who I believe doesn't have a name. Oh, I'm still wearing this one. Or uh, using the skin. Oh. Maybe I should try the other ones. Cardboard. I'll try the red one for now. How is that red? That doesn't really look any... Red... Oh, okay. Are the little parts? Alright, sure, whatever. Anyway, I'm looking at the... Torn book here. Where is that? Is that just nothing? Oh, it... <laughs> oh, I already have 19 of them. Thanks for giving me an extra one. Hmm. Anyway, I guess we're off to looking for... 
more in this vast, vast desert. Oh lord. Of course it would ping faster here, of course. Alright. Yeah! Get out of here, y'all. Old world material obtained. Hypothesis. Said material is likely a relic from an ancient civilization. Cool! This one was actually really close to the researcher guy. So, back that way I go. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, okay, well, I can't hack the resistance member. <laughs> that was an accident. Did you find something for me? Hmm, looks like some kind of staff. That's pretty incredible. Let me pay you for your help. This was likely a tool for some kind of ceremony. I imagine it belonged to the nation that used to exist in this region. A stick? If you find any more relics, make sure to bring them to me. Did Facade have sticks? Stick for a ceremony? Huh. Don't think that rings a bell. Oh, oh. What's here? Oh. It's around here somewhere. Keep pinging, little bot. Don't just shoot missiles. I need you to do a little better than that. Oh. Uh, there's something here, but we gotta, like... Yeah, we gotta deal with these guys first. Ooh! Can I use a mirage? Did I get anything? I have no clue. Feels like it did. Ooh! Oh! It's raining bubbles here. Okay. Ooh! Neat, another machine core. Oh no, they're all coming my way now. Let's get out of here. Okay. There's something around here. Oh! Archive, mysterious lithograph. Old world material obtained. Hypothesis, said material is likely a relic from an ancient civilization. Wait, I got two things just now. Commandment slab and old lithograph. Two. Oh my god. <laughs> Rule 8614. Parents shall not purchase birthday feast ingredients. We masked people have traditionally shown proclivities toward treasuring our children. However, due to parents purchasing far too many ingredients for the birthday parties of their children, much of what is bought goes to waste. This rule was passed by the king, who was quite distressed by the ceaselessness of such behavior. Gee, I wonder what civilization this came from. Ah, oh, a stone tablet with laws written on it. That's definitely worth a reward. This isn't the only tablet of its kind that we found either. I think the nation that once existed here lived under an almost impossible number of rules. Hmm, wonder who that is. The more they expanded their civilization, the more rules they had to come up with. They ended up living their lives bound by rules. Seems like a waste if you ask me. Oh, no, 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 no. My dear researcher, you don't get it. Rules don't exist to bind us by them. Rules exist so that we know what our freedoms are. Or whatever the exact quote was. <laughs> If you find any more relics, make sure to bring them to me. More? How many are there? Oh my god, can I just find a whole bunch of them and then bring them all back at once? Oh! I thought three would be it. Keep looking for more old crap buried in the sand. <laughs> Ancient mass. Whoa, Give shit! It is unforgivable. Unforgivable! Give us your money and your life. <gasps> uh oh. I'm being mugged by cowboys. What the heck were those guys? I'm being mugged! Oh, okay. That rattled me so much I almost self destructed. Holy crap. Am I being mugged? Is this what's happening right now? What the heck? Okay. Uh, maybe I'll try hacking one of these guys. 
Ooh, you got something cool here. Cool little pattern that I haven't seen before. Ooh, no! God damn it. I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Oh. Here we go. Maybe that'll do something. No, I need like a mirage, the mirage thing. Is anything helping? Wait, these guys came out of the sand as soon as I picked that thing up. Do you want it back? I can give it to you, if you want it. Oh my lord! Good lord. I'll try the other one. Come on! That's gotta be a special unit. Dented plate. Yeah, get some. I should try the other pod program later, because I did buy two of them. But I've only been trying the Mirage one so far. Oh, oh! More hacking, more hacking. Oh, this one's kind of big. Oh! Oh, I gotta get the backs. Woo! No, no, no. Yes. Dude, I gotta be really careful about my health here, cuz... Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck here! I'm stuck here! Okay. Okay. Ooh! Last one. Whoa, 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 whoa! Your bubbles are a little bit too scary. Good? One more? Okay. The hostile machine lifeforms have been defeated. Analysis. Their garments were based on a subset of human culture. Human culture? Examples of said clothing can be found in motion pictures that humans created for entertainment purposes. More specifically, they were from a genre known as Westerns that chronicled warfare in a certain region of the planet. Warfare as entertainment? What were humans thinking? <laughs> the wild, wild west. Why did they attack me though? And how did they get the clothing? Oh. Before we hand it in, can we actually look at what we picked up? Statue of a girl. Oh. Statue in the shape of a young girl, and you can see that she's wearing a mask. The facade masks. Hmm. This is a statue of a young woman. Hmm. The words on your wedding day are carved into it. Perhaps this is a representation of the bride. This reminds me of something I've recently discovered in the course of my work. It appears that this area used to be known as Facade. As the name suggests, the residents of Facade all wore masks as well as unusual clothes. They also spoke a language unique to their people. Anyway, listen to me ramble. Thanks again for your help. Please take this, okay? Spear of the Usurper. Oh. Well, we learned some stuff about Facade today. That statue? Okay, that's gotta be Freya then, huh? When did I get that? Medium flyer? Armed with guns and top devices, blah blah blah. I've seen that one. Peculiar machines. Gunman biped. A small biped that imitates human culture by dressing something like out of a western. 
Like any good cowboy, it attacks with a gun and seems to use its deep-seated head as a means of taking aim. These guys are fancy. Oh, they're so emo. Gunman Stubby? They had a whole little army going on. That's pretty cool. Oh. Spirit... Oh no, Spear. Spear of the Usurper. Used by a prince's double to murder his liege. Ooh. In a distant kingdom, there lived two princes. Two princes. Yeah, not princesses. <laughs> the son of the queen, consort, was clever of mind but weak of flesh. The son of the king's second wife was dim-witted yet charming, and quite gifted in the art of war. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be a story of how the first son killed the second son, right? Because the clever one, the clever of mine one. That's gotta be the one that wins, but hey. Would you look at that. There's two swords here, and they're both being stabbed into the other person. Huh. Well. We'll see how that turns out if we upgrade it. Which we should. We should really go back to upgrading soon. Well, we're done this quest in the desert now. Is that the only thing we got here? I think so. Wandering couple. We don't know where they Where could they be? Are they in the flooded city right now? Because we should go there ASAP to avoid the quest failing again. Game dev level 3. Wandering couple. Alright. Um, if we go to the wandering or the flooded city, we're probably going to see a new cutscene. Let's go back to the game dev first.